I thought I was going to be stuck there. I thought everyone forgot me. It, it kind of broke me almost completely. You know, I, I failed my country. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be here no more. You know, I hated myself. After a year and a half, I started self-medicating. And it took probably four years ago for me to say, you know, commit suicide, take my own life. He was uh, brought into the clinic area I was at and uh, a nurse very much wanted him to get involved. He needed a lot of help. Um, Adam had very long hair and he leaned forward and kind of hid himself behind his hair and, and didn't wasn't very into the whole rec therapy idea. I talked about whitewater rafting and, and snowboarding out in Colorado and he was like, what is that? That makes no sense, but I'll give you one chance. And as we're going down the river, I can see Adam kind of coming out of a shell. He starts talking to other people, um, getting involved in what's going on, high-fiving, getting this group stuff, and we go through our day, and then he's helping, you know, uh, helping a vet get his leg back on and getting a wheelchair to get people back out and helping us carry the raft up, and it, and it, it, it changed him. You know, the water hit him in the face, and he had, he had fun again. He knew he was allowed to have fun. And then he said, so what was that snowboard trip you talked about? And I said, well, winter sports clinic, we got to... Colorado for a week and we'll snowboard, it'll be great. He's like, well, I don't really know how, but I think I'd like to go. We came here to the Winter Sports Clinic in Snowmass and, uh, and my life changed forever. A, a veteran has to be ready to accept the recovery process and I wasn't ready. And then I came here and it opened my eyes and made me ready. I took all the stuff that I've learned at the Winter Sports Clinic and I've taken it home and applied it to my own recovery process, but also where I can help other veterans. All right, today we're going in to the rec hall here at the Hershey Woody Williams VAMC, and we're gonna speak for patient center care, and it's uh, experiencing the veteran walking in the veteran's shoes. Adam does our patient-centered care program and speaks for us to realize what our veterans go through when they serve and in his case what he endured but Adam also helps us through our rec therapy program of going out and helping his fellow veterans um, to become incorporated back into their civilian life. You just give me a call, double check and make sure everything's good. I do the one-on-one -on -one canceling. I, I drive, I used to drive until I moved, but I drive about two hours and 15 minutes one way, three days a week. And I would do that to go meet veterans, walk them through the process, like OEF, OIF veterans. Some Vietnam veterans that were just terrified of the system, heard horror stories. Well, I'm a DAV member that volunteers at a VA. I make sure as a DAV member that they get exactly what they go for. Since becoming a DAV member, Adam's been very active as a member, as a volunteer, and just as a good veteran in the community. He gives back, he's compassionate, and he loves what he gets to do day in and day out. He's accumulated nearly 3,800 hours at the VA uh, in Huntington, West Virginia, and prior to becoming a volunteer for DAV, he, he's achieved a little more than 5,000 hours. Adam's also spoken on our PSAs as it relates to how DAV has changed his life and what Adam wants to do to change others. My victory is just experiencing life. Support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. This one is my favorite because it shows how upset, depressed, and hopeless he looks. And then in this one, there's a picture of him and his son and it shows the light that's back in him. To watch him smile again is beyond anything that I could have ever hoped for. He is kind, he is humble, he is an amazing man, and I can't even begin to describe all the things that he has done for others that nobody even sees, nobody knows about. 
He's able to participate and watch his grandson grow up, where at one point he didn't think he would ever do that. Hey, video. <laughs> Grayson, Coleman, man, great house. That makes me a grandpa. He is so deserving of any ounce of credit that anybody gives him, and he does it humbly with a smile on his face. I am extremely proud of Adam, and I could not be more proud.